Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about some Pokemon Legends Arceus lore, and specifically trying to answer the question of who are these two characters, Kagura and Volo. Two very interesting characters from Pokemon Legends Arceus, with a key, I think, to Pokemon's past, and specifically Hisui's past. That being said, let's jump right into things. One of the most interesting things that we learned in Pokemon Legends Arceus is that the story of the Hisui region doesn't really just start with what's going on in the story. There is a much older story going on here, a story of a hero who was able to control the legends of Hisui with the help of the legendary Pokemon. One of the things that a bunch of other Poketubers have covered in recent days is that Volo might not be of this time. Volo, of course, after the game's credits roll, turns out to be the main antagonist of Pokemon Legends Arceus. He has the control of Garatina, and he's actually the one who opened the space-time distortion above Mount Coronet. He is trying to meet Arceus, and more specifically, he is trying to control the god of the Pokemon world. He wants to subjugate Arceus and use it for his own nefarious purposes. He's using you, the player character, to help him gather the plates, and he makes reference to that he's done this in the past, that in the past, he, there was a hero who defeated him. He's trying this again. We don't specifically get this dialogue from Volo, but we get it from some of the memos littered about the Hisui region. Birdkeeper Toby just recently did a really good theory about how Volo might be a time traveler and might be the person who was defeated by the hero those many years ago. We also know that there is a type of people here in the Hisui region that have essentially been wiped out. And those are the Celestica people. Celestica is a word that we see a lot in Sinnoh now. It is the name of a lot of ruins around the Hisui region. It is part of the name that eventually becomes Celestic Town in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum and the remakes BDSP. And the flute that you use to summon all of the noble Pokemon and the ride Pokemon to actually help you on your adventure is the Celestica flute. All of this is to say that there was an ancient culture in Hisui, and Kagura and Volo might be some of the last remaining members of this tribe. Kagura is in that ancient enclosed first encampment that you can only travel to from the map. You can't specifically get there from one of the more open wild area locations. And she talks about how there are these legends that eventually got passed down and got split apart by the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, to the point where they both worship their own for version of Almighty Sinnoh. This is all really interesting. The lore in Pokemon Legends Arceus is incredible, and we're still digging into all of it to this day. We're going to be finding things in this game for a very long time, and the theories and the ideas about this game are only going to continue to evolve. One of the more interesting pieces that we've kind of begun to put together is that the Celestica people did not originally helm from the Sinnoh region. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. One of the most interesting things that we learned from the notes littered about the Hisui region is that the ancient Sinnoh people, who most people are essentially just calling the Celestica people because of the ruins, because of the connection to Celestic Town, the Celestica flute, etc., etc., actually came up from the south. They came through the Sinjo part of the region, what is in modern day, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the Sinjo ruins. They came from Kanto or Johto. My guess would probably be Johto, just given the fact that you go to the Sinjo ruins in the Johto games. Johto seems to be directly south of Mount Coronet and the Sinnoh region. So the Celestica people were travelers. They were in some way nomadic. They might have originally lived in Johto and were driven out for some reason. Maybe they were looking for the gods of the Pokemon world, looking to find some sort of religious revival. Who knows? This is a lot of, there's a lot of religiosity in the Gen 4 games. They traveled eventually to the Hisui region and settled in the Hisui region, but they came through Sinjo. Sinjo is a fascinating location in the Pokemon world, and I am absolutely thrilled that Game Freak is choosing to engage with this part of Pokemon lore again. 
But the most interesting thing is that the Celestica people aren't around anymore. We can presume, based on Kogita and where she lives, and the fact that her and Volo are very, very similar to Cynthia, that her family, Cynthia's family, in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, are ancestors of the Celestica people. This is a theory that has been going around the community in the last couple days as well, and I wanted to build on that here. This is clearly one of the last families in the Sinnoh region that is of the Celestica people. It makes sense that they have settled in Celestic Town in the mainline games, in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. But what happened to these people? Did these people disperse because of the events of the ancient hero? The hero that was able to use 10 Pokemon? The hero that seemingly defeated someone who was trying to harness the power of the legendary Pokemon. It might have been Volo, it might not have been, but they chose to disperse after that. And the mystery of what happened to the Celestica people is one of the most interesting pieces of lore in Pokemon now, because it seems as if they built a lot of the ruins that you now find in the Hisui region. Of course, when they built them, they were not ruins, but they, over the years, over the centuries, maybe from some sort of battle or some sort of conflict as well, broke down into the state that they are today. The specific ruins that are called the Celestica Ruins, where you can find the Dialga and Palkia statues, and a statue that is destroyed that is most likely of Garatina, the one that we think was destroyed by Volo. That is one of the central pieces of interesting information in the Hisui region, because the architecture and how those ruins are constructed are very similar across all of the different sites in the Hisui region. Not only are they very similar to all of these sites littered about the Hisui region, but they're also very similar to Mount Coronet. They are very similar to Spear Pillar at the top of Mount Coronet. Did the ancient Celestica people build Mount Coronet's Spear Pillar? Did they build it as a monument to the gods, to Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina? And what is Garatina's true role? It's an, it's an interesting discussion that I want to have in a future video. A lot of what we see in Pokemon Legends Arceus reveals that Volo was using Garatina. He captured and took control of Garatina and wanted to use Garatina to get to Arceus, eventually to gather all the plates with your help bring Arceus into the world, and control him. But Garatina was the first Pokemon that he used. I find it very hard to believe that a Pokemon as powerful as Garatina simply let itself be under the control of a user like Volo when he clearly didn't have the red chain or any of these things necessary to bring about control of these godlike Pokemon. So there's a theory that I would love to have that our Garatina had some some motives here. Garatina let himself be under the control of Volo. Garatina wanted to get back at Arceus for banishing him to the reverse world, to the distortion world, and wanted to use a human to do it. But that's a theory for another day. This is just some light speculation about the Celestica people. I'm kind of feeling down this week. I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, so I do apologize if my voice is scratchy or if there's been a lack of content. I'm trying to get better and get back on into the swing of things. But if you have any other thoughts about the Celestica people and the lore of the Hisui slash Sinnoh region, I would love to hear it down in the comments section below. What do you think of what we learned in Legends Arceus? What do you think of some of the theories uh, that are around the Pokemon community right now? What do you think of a future video talking about Garatina? Because I really want to do it. I would love to know what you guys think down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like because it always helps support the channel, helps other people find these videos. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like I mentioned before. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.